I realize I misinterpreted this diagram last time. You will not see all these three fish all eat the same fish. And the spiky fish is the only fish the safe fish eats. But before we continue with the biology lesson, we'll head down here to solve another part of another puzzle. First, make a ramp out of the small table. And, uh, well, what else would we need to ramp for but this big iron sphere here? to the shuriken and down it goes okay now the biology lesson food chain the small fish is eaten only by the round fish and the big fish here eats the round fish The spiky fish eats the big fish and the safe fish eats the spiky fish. And now we are safe to proceed. True thanks of water which for some reason don't drown you here. Yep, this is where the iron sphere ended up. Yeah. Here's one crystal inside the block of ice and there's another on in the one to the right. We could just break this and grab the crystal, but we need to get to the door switch up there. So, and for that we need to be a bit more clever. Namely, we have to melt the ice block gradually. There goes the iron, and we'd better do something about that depression in the ground. Luckily, we have a nice sized spike platform over here. goes. It looks like it went too much to the left, but turns out it can't go too far to the left. Just turn on the furnish. Hmm. Okay, I guess you can't push it back right. And wait for the molten iron to crawl all the way here. Actually, it quite understandably hurts to stand on molten iron, as you can see, but, oh damn, here we go, door is open, and the iron finally uh, cools down, now, break this block here and here we go. Well done, you have freed the two crystals. You have brought everything I need. Now you are ready to face Malatoth alone. Why do I have to face him alone? Aren't you some wise old powerful wizard? I mean... You put together these... spell that can destroy him, see? Well, I have to say, this is much better than the triple laser look-alike we got in the previous. Hmm. And... 
this guy isn't all that hard. See, he's gone. And do we get another Obi Wan Kenobi moment? Well, no. That's it. Well, switch the disc. Hmm. I wonder what I let's play next. I have some ideas. Okay. Yeah. As a new day dawns, mankind breathes a sigh of relief and basks in the warmth of a new beginning. You have cleansed yourself, your family, and the world of Maletoth's evil dominion. Exult, for the Beast Lord is dead, his cold, dark malignancy replaced by bright, fresh hope for the future. Exult is a great program. Now rest from your burdensome battle with the Beast Lord. Assert that Maletoth is no more. That's it. Malathot was the biggest beast of them all, and now we are out of the Shadow of the Beast. Shadow of the Beast 3 has been brought to you by the following people. Yeah, I'm not going to speak all them aloud. <laughs> hmm, this isn't much of an ending sequence either, but I rank this a bit higher than that from the second game. Hmm, graphics. Yeah. The two guys did all the graphics for this game. Good work. Music and sound. Good work from you too. But who came up with the gameplay and design that is much more forgiving? David Jones. Yeah. I mean, just what? Uh, only half a dozen people uh, developing with this entire game. Yeah, that's how they did it. Though, about when did this come out? Um, 1992, a bit more than 15 years ago. Shirley! I could go I could go for a Shirley Temple right now. You know what? No, I don't. Well, what? Tell me! What? Yeah. And this guy doesn't look like a beast at all anymore. Well, oh, it looks. Well, this has been Crowley. With Shadow of the Beast 3, thanks for watching, whether you're a view, just a viewer or a subscriber, and we'll return with another game. Farewell. Ah. Ah. You can't do anything but reset or shut down the computer now. Well, since I'm on an emulator, I can just end that.